Ongoing concerns over project management, the pace of delivery and staffing at Sellafield, the UK's most complex and challenging nuclear site, mean it is not yet achieving value for money. Based in Cumbria, the northwest of England, Sellafield is a wholly owned subsidiary of the British state. Over its history, Sellafield has generated electricity from nuclear reactors and produced plutonium for the UK's nuclear deterrent. But now, Sellafield is being decommissioned, targeted for 2125, with a remaining price tag of £136 billion. We found that short-term progress is inconsistent in meeting long-term targets. Since we last reported in 2018, deadlines to empty deteriorating waste ponds and storage silos have fallen behind by between 6 and 13 years. Separately, projects to extract the waste and store it safely are also running behind. These projects will be delivered up to 11 years later than 2018 estimates, costing an extra £1.15 billion. If Sellafield continues to underperform in delivering major projects and extracting waste, the cost of decommissioning will increase considerably. Despite these ongoing concerns, Sellafield has achieved some progress since we last reported. This includes Sellafield for the first time demonstrating that it can extract some of its most hazardous waste from silos. Also, the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority's new model for running its sites, including Sellafield, is delivering £140 million in savings to the taxpayer each year. It also thinks this is addressing significant contractual delivery and procurement problems.